I'm Kristen Oaks White. Thank you for joining us for This Week in Louisiana Agriculture, the only TV show bringing Louisiana farmers and consumers together every week. My partner Avery Davidson is in New Orleans for the Farm and Table Conference right now. So let's go there and see how things are going at the conference. Avery? Well, Kristen, right now in New Orleans, Farm and Table are meeting literally because it's lunchtime for the Farm and Table New Orleans Conference. I hear the sounds of forks and plates tapping together, but that really is what this event is all about. You know, we talk about our mission statement before every show, bringing Louisiana farmers and consumers together every week. Well, this is a conference designed to bring them together every year to have discussions about things like source transparency, knowing exactly where your food comes from. And there was someone in the audience in that panel that had a pretty unique perspective. The screen lets you know exactly where you are, a place where the farm and the table come together. And on this panel at the Ernest in Morial Convention Center, there's a fisherman at the table as well. Lance Nacio is the captain and owner of Anna Marie Shrimp. The discussion he's helping lead is about source transparency, your ability to know exactly where your food comes from. Transparency to me is like, uh, you know, bringing the fish to a restaurant, bringing the shrimp to the consumer at the farmer's market, you know, cutting out those middle people who are actually making more money just sitting back working numbers, you know, and, and putting a face to the product. Putting a face to the product is also a mission of Angelina Harrison. She's the director of markets for a company called Market Umbrella, which oversees the Crescent City Farmers Markets and works with restaurants to source farm fresh food directly from growers. She knows that public perception can be off. The picture book farm that people have in their mind about where food comes from is just not the reality of conventional food. So juxtaposing um, uh, the realities of small farms or small producer only operations that we work with with those conventional realities um, to create more consumer awareness and demand is also um, a huge part of what we do. In the audience listening to the discussion is someone very familiar with agriculture, Lainey LeBlanc, Louisiana FFA National Officer Candidate. This is her second year to attend the Farm and Table Conference. We need to make people care about where their food comes from because it matters at a local economic level and it matters big picture for the entire country in agriculture. One of the topics broached by this panel was about labels like non-GMO and USDA organic you find in the grocery store, which may do more harm to the discussion about source transparency than good. It's important as a consumer to remain educated and continue to seek out you know, where exactly was this product sourced from and what am I buying? What am I about to eat? What am I about to feed my family? What am I preparing my food with? Um, and so in terms of labeling, I think it's important to never stop asking why, where, how. Of course, you've seen Lance Nacio on Twyla before. He's normally over at the Red Stick Farmer's Market in Baton Rouge. And we did a story with him talking about his process of freezing shrimp on the boat. Really cool process. 